No, you thank him. Clicking this video, trying to get invested in this series, trying to believe in me as a content creator, and I'm out here losing the New Mexico, the Lobos, one star program. In case you forgot, in case you missed it, here's a recap as to what happened in the last episode of the UNLV Rebels in week five. What the fuck just happened? What in the f 50 seconds? So I have no answer. And uh, top 10 losses in the channel history, right there. Top 10, like, doesn't feel good. But countless times throughout that game, I said we deserve to lose. There was just way, way too many turnovers. Uh, look, it says tailspin because it was uh, that's what it was. Wait, four picks. You're not going to win a whole lot of games when your quarterback has four interceptions. And then he ended up getting hurt. And we had to go to the backup. Like, it was a perfect storm of things to go wrong. And we still should have won. You know, should have, would have, could have. Got the bye week here. Uh, recruiting stays the same. No no changers, no movers, no uppers, no downers. I, I did say we could, we could use this bye week to kind of get an idea of where we are at statistically. On the season, and it's been good. I mean, we've been air raiding out. The passing yards look nice. We're over 2,000 passing yards as an offense. Justin Rogers' injury, he's going to miss the game after this bye week, which is against Hawaii, which is going to be, I think, a high-scoring game. But you also can see here, man, these guys are struggling in year one to pick up the Tom Savage fucking and chuck it offense, as shown by the interceptions. 10, for 11, 10 and 11, none of our quarterbacks have positives. Uh, run the ball. We're not running the ball particularly well. The touchdowns are nice, though. We're finishing off drives with Chuck Williams here, but you know, Magmar, the fullback hybrid. It's just, it's just not the focal point. The focal point's offense is the passing attack. Chuck Williams, two sixty nine, leads the team with receptions because we can just feed him up the backfield. Tylee Collins, our slot wide receiver, three thirty. We got almost six and five for the true freshman Kyle Williams, seventy seven overall. Presley, three sixty one. Uh, Gasser, Jacob Gasser, got to start getting more reps. Seven catches, 161 yards, two touchdowns. That 22, almost 23 yards per reception. Uh, it's right out there, third on the team. So, yeah, he's, he's going to have his opportunity here against Hawaii. He will be our wide receiver three. Uh, from an offensive line standpoint, I mean, lots of sacks, especially when, like, our second best lineman is giving up 11, which is, like, some of the most in college football. And for some reason, he's on fire. He must literally be on fire because he's blocking like he's, you know, needs to be stop, stop, drop, and rolling. And more often than not, he looks like he's doing the stop, drop, and roll as he just got ran over by the opposing D lineman and he's rolling around on the ground right there. So <laughs> have an uptick there. Um, defensively, though, I got to give full credit to the sophomore Adam Plants. Outstanding numbers through five games 11 TFLs, five sacks. We got eight and three here for Winman, who's actually out with injury as well. Ten and two, Elil Amare, he's been fairly solid. Two picks, Jamel Ham leading the team as a redshirt freshman, which is great on the defensive side of the ball. But we don't control the defensive side of the ball. We can only focus on the offense. And a massive issue right now is these turnovers. And these are the turnovers that you cannot have with our backup quarterback against Hawaii because you know Hawaii's going to put up points. They got that air raid. There's no more Cole McDonald, but they've got the, uh, I'm pretty sure they have Rico Bussey, North Texas transfer, who absolutely could shred our defense. But it's a bye week. I, I feel like as long as we linger in this bye week, all I can think about is that loss in New Mexico. So let's just, let's just get the next game under our belts. Three and two, we'll look to try to go to four and two. And a preview for our matchup against Hawaii. Uh, Corso's taken us, which I like. They're one and five. They have an advantage in everything. They have a better overall, better defense, better offense, 
But how performance has gone this year, obviously we are on the opposite side of the spectrum, which is fairly promising. We have a number of recruits scheduled to visit this week, so it's important and, and it's kind of unfortunate. Look, we got Eric Newton, the kicker, Matt Washington, the safety, Holt, corner, Powell, uh, I think he's a guy. Let's just look at it. I'm pretty sure, can I see uh, visiting this week? Either way, we got him. Newton's coming, Washington. We got Holt the corner, 70 overall. That's a big one. Carroll, almost a 70 overall guard. And Nebraska and Georgia are still in it. So we're going to need to have a little bit of uh, an impressive debut there. Is Sutton coming this week? No, not yet. Cody is at tight end. And that's, that's a nice get there if we can find a way. 6'6", six, six, he's a good athlete as well uh, for us going forward. My biggest worry right now is Quincy Brown. Quincy Brown, the four-star, number 20 athlete. It was almost a lock that he was coming to join us. And Arizona's gained a lot of space. I don't know why, because we beat Arizona. Maybe we went a little early with the visit. We only got a 95 bonus. If we waited a little bit more, we could have got 100, could have got 200. And, and, I mean, a 335 lead is still good. It's not the end of the day. But the fact that all these other schools have been closing the gap for our easily number one prospect who's going to be a baller wide receiver. A little bit worried. Definitely a little bit worried. We don't have a lot of uh, what he's looking for in a school, but that's fine. Because we're going to go here against Hawaii. We're going to get back on a winning track. We're going to impress all the kids that are coming to visit. And I think we're going to, uh, you know, we're going to find a way to endure because we're going to have a backup quarterback. We have injuries. Missing key players on both sides of the ball. Oh my God, is he back? Okay, Winman's out, which sucks, because he's one of our best edge rushers. Dislocated elbow out four more weeks. But I'm pretty sure we're going to have Justin Rogers back. Yes, he's coming back from injury. Yes! Yes! Get the ball opening drive. Defense does not hold up. Hawaii scores. We need to score right here. Get right back into things momentum-wise. Here we go, Tylee Collins. Get the slant going. Very dynamic from the slot. 34 yards, first play of the game. We do have goals today for running the ball as well. 100 yards rushing, I think, for our linemen that are visiting. That might be a little bit of a tough sell. Oh, my God. Can we get an accurate throw to Presley, which we do both feet in. 15 yards, a little late, but still good. Our boy Kyle Williams, our boy Kyle Williams, 17 yards, goal to go. Great response on this drive. Here we got Gasser on the slant. Williams at the backfield, gonna keep an eye there. You know what it is. You know what it is. He's a senior. He's only his last year. Better, but what better year to have your breakout year than your final year? Someone find me Jacob Gasser's Twitter handle so I can tag him in this. Defense goes out there, gets the stop. Very nice. Let's try and get a lead here. Third seven in our territory. Want to continue just to just keep putting points up. We got Tylee Collins in the slot. This is supposed to actually be a fullback play, but I, I want him to block. He's going to go quickly to the running back. Williams, and he gets just enough for the first down. Nothing there, just get hit, get one yard, whatever. Let him, let him, let him, you know, get to get that, you know, he's injured. You get that, that's that mind games of like, I don't want to get hurt again. Just get hit once. You know, it's like all those things when a fighter comes back. Get that ring rust off, just get punched in the face once. And I'll be like, you never left. Third and nine. Going for the deep pass here. Williams at the top, that's pretty much where we want to focus. He can get open. And... Bad pass, man. Bad pass. Had him. Had him deep. And you know if, if it's if Kyle Williams gets on the end of that, he's taking it all the way. Defense does their job, though. Thank you very much. Had the running back. God. Take the check downs when they got them. Take the check downs when you got them. Stop playing hero ball. Because now you're going to be on the wrong side of the lead right here.
go. Collins, Tylee Collins. Last read, last progression. Face mask? Face mask, tack on 15. There we go, great pass. Great quick pass to Kyle Williams, 12 yards. We go to beam the tight end, enough to move the chains. Oh, come on, there, Chuck Williams. Let's go, Chucky. Five yard touchdown run. I think that's his eighth of the year as the Rebels tie this one up 14 apiece. Defense takes that momentum and translates it to put the ball in our offense's hands 425 in the second quarter. Okay, rest in peace, Tylee Collins. Thanks for everything you gave to the squad. We'll put a memorial outside our stadium. He's got decapitated. Look at this. How's that not targeting? And murdered. I'm there. Eat the sack. Don't turn it over. No interceptions. No turnover so far. So far, so good. Gonna give the ball back to them. And they get a touchdown. Would love our defense to not break. Like, if we can get a couple of these field goals instead of touchdowns, I think that'd be great. That'd be a great adjustment to make at halftime here. First and 10. Check down to the running back. Ooh, makes a guy miss. Not bad yardage, six yards. Kyle uh, Williams up to the territory belonging to the Hawaii Rainbow Warriors. Second and 10, we still got a lot of our timeouts. This one might be a little risky. We haven't run a screen pass yet, and you sometimes screens are like, they just print 10 yard gains for our offense. And look at that. That should be, I mean, then again, our kicker missed a 20 yard field goal to win it last week. So I don't know what his for sure gimme range is. But we're getting pretty close to at least get some points before the end of the half. But I do also want to melt the middle of this field. So we can get a score. Oh, Gasser with the drop. The rare drop from Jacob Gasser. Look at that. Look at that, 17 yards, Justin Rogers. He doesn't show up, he doesn't board the, uh, get on the bus to go to the stadium today. We're going with the backup, we don't get that first down. That's only something Justin Rogers can do on this roster right now. Go all our timeouts. Come on, come on. Someone give me something. Someone give me just a little bit of something because you know with five seconds, he's not gonna let me get another playoff. Made the field goal. We get the ball to start the second half. Could have been a lot worse. Third and long to start the second half is not really where you want to be. I'll give you right now credit. These Hawaii corners are playing well. I haven't had, like, there hasn't been a whole lot of plays where I'm like, wow, no, you know, I miss that guy. A lot of coverage plays. And they start with a three and out on the opening half. And they go down and punish us right away. Our defense not helping us out today. Being the tight end. Be, oh, he doesn't have enough juice, but I'll take that. There, 61 yards. We, we, you know, we had to score quick. We have to score quick. And we got it. I don't think, outside of Kyle Williams, I don't think we have any guy that could probably run away from a defense there. So that's, hey, didn't fumble it. There we go. There's that dude. Kyle Williams, 22 yards. I was very worried about that safety that was lurking. I thought he could make a play. But I, I, I'll trust Kyle Williams in those situations. He brings it in. Pull one back. Defense, get a stop. We get a sack. We're down for a chance to take the lead. They brought out a blitz. Let's get some good... Ooh. Chuck! Chuck Williams, everybody! Takes the screen pass! 79 yards! Chucky Dub! That's huge, man. That's huge. Oh, that missed tackle. Like, they brought all out blitz. As soon as I saw it, I was like, if we can make one guy miss, we're taking this to the house. And right there, 24 had him. But Chuck Williams don't care. 79 yards to the house. UNLV takes the lead. We need our defense. Carry that. Give me another turnover. Give me another just stop. Put the ball back in our offensive hand so we can start piling up some points here. They do it. Anytime you get... Anytime you get press against Kyle Williams, that safety's creeping over. Could be nice. Also, it could be this guy, this motherfucker trying to bait me. 
You gotta hit someone there. You gotta hit someone there, Justin Rogers. That's a lead hit! That's where you 100% send out, like, you. I'm, I'm gonna put Magmar out there. 100%, find that guy, take him out of the knees. For hitting our quarterback like that. Kidding me, refs? Protect our players. That was Tom Brady that would have made that call, okay? Don't need to go to... I, I don't want to say we're in four-down territory. I like to think we are because we know our coach is going to... That's late. That's late. Debatably P.I. That was late. Defense is going to have to get a stop. Ah! Okay, uh, we need a quick score. We're gonna hit a bomb. We still got all of our timeouts, which is good, but we got we have to get like a two play drive, two play touchdown drive. That helps. That helps. Like we're gonna have to get a touchdown with like at least a minute thirty left. We got a chance. The pulse. You hear that pulse? That's not your heart beating. That's the heart of this team beating. Make this get in field goal range. I guess we got Williams at the top. Oh, did he get in? What? Well, you know, whatever. We get two, it's a field goal. We do not trust our kicker whatsoever. We get a chance. Oh my God. This can make up for last week's loss. Actually, no, that's impossible. It's, there's no way to make up for that loss because that was just the goddamn Sim having us lose the game. But we, we. Had Williams and I, te I had, we had Kyle Williams and I hit X. I tapped X because you want to just whoop, float it in there and it went four yards through it like my toddler. Like, is my guy gassed? What is, what's the problem here with throwing the ball deep? Like, can I put it in the backup quarterback here? Because we're having countless times that our guys are getting open. Like, is there something going on in the pocket that I'm not, I'm just missing? Like, are we under immense pressure every single time? Well, there we were. There we were because we're eyeing Gasser and Gasser has 85 speed. And for a guy with 85 speed to get behind the corner... You're going to need about, you know, five-second pocket. This is it, man, for the win. They're going, man. We're going to have a chance. Tyler Collins! Go! No huddle! Nothing but verge till it hurts. Now I'm almost like, ah, oh, man, if we actually got that two-pointer, we might have had a chance for our kicker to redeem himself. Under threat. There's, like, I... I think there's something with stamina. Because our quarterback's arm juice, like, went, like... I, 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 I considered it to just put it in the backup because he has a, a fresh arm. Because a fresh arm, you don't underthrow that, that's a touchdown to Gasser. Every throw that last drive, excluding the bomb that we hit, which wasn't even like that difficult, it felt like Justin Rogers, like you go over that like 450 mark, cut like five points off your throw power because your guy's sick and tired. He's gassed. That's a tough loss. I'm not gonna, we weren't screwed. There's nothing like that. I just have a lot of questions about my quarterback stamina because th there was just not enough zip on those passes that last drive. Countless times, Kyle Williams, any of those guys were getting open. But the guys fought, man. That's an all-time classic according to ESPN. Statistically speaking, we can we can hold our... I just... Man. Noodle arm, man. With noodle arm, noodle arm final drive from Justin Rogers. He's a sophomore that he'll learn. He'll get... Um, he'll maybe spend a couple more hours in the gym. Tom Savage, take him his wing, show him how to just have that cannon. Tom Savage, you got to remember... Tom Savage made his bread and butter in the pink slip series because of those last second bombs. 
to win the game two minutes under and under. Maybe not even two minutes. Maybe that's too generous for Tom Savage's time and pick slips. It was like last second Hail Mary. Tom Savage hit three of those in one year with the Brooklyn Beats. That, that's what we need to see from Justin Rogers. That's where you can evolve his game. He's still a young kid as a sophomore. He can get better. That's still have a stat line. 483 yards, four touchdowns, one pick. Didn't run the ball particularly well. Tylee Collins, buck 84. Ch Chuck Williams at the backfield, 100. We got 79 and a tutty for Kyle Williams. Gasser, two touchdowns in his debut as a starting wide receiver. Uh, defensively, you know, it's, it, it wasn't a great game. It's, it's one of those things where I want to be critical about our defense. A lot of times, like, you know, you think you score 37 points, you should win. But also our defense has kept us in a lot of games this season. And for the first time that they didn't play very well, you know, it, it is what it is. It's the yin and the yang. And we're still, you know, a, a relatively, a, a brand, it almost seems like a brand new program. We do not have established players. We do not have established coaches. So you, you got to lose games like this. And it's, uh, it's how you, it's all about how you respond. Two losses in a row, two, two heartbreaking losses in a row. How do we respond? It's all doom and gloom. Come out of that loss. We got our first commit. Our first commit of the class. Our first commit on the offensive side of the ball. The first commit that you get to see Tom Savage's name signed on. And we got Anthony Carroll. 69 overall. Can play guard. Can play tackle. 6'6", 302 out of uh, Winooski. What? State starts with a V. Virginia? Vermont? That's like a V Vermont? Huh? I don't know. But we got them. And we beat out some solid schools. Nebraska was there. Georgia was there. Ohio State. Notre Dame. Alabama. Tennessee. These schools were interested. Obviously not to the extent that we were. We did something well. That's a good get. And on top of that, get to spend a little bit of XP here. Get to go to the coach skill tree. Because Tom Savage's offense had a hell of a day. So from here, we can continue to upgrade quarterbacks. See, this is where we need to focus on the throw power, throw accuracy, and more in particular, late in games. Whatever was going on with Justin Rogers' arm at the end of that game, I do not want that to happen again. So we're going to continue to focus and prioritize this cannon ability in our OC skill tree. I don't even know what would be next after that. Probably the catching one, but... Um, yeah, we got we got we got to focus on the QBs here. Obviously, we want to have a little bit of a specialty to our tree and reflect Tom Savage as a coach, and that is going to be focusing on the quarterback. So we ended here ahead of this Week Eight game. This is a tough one. God, God damn, five and one Fresno State. They cooking this year. Fresno State. They beat Rutgers. They beat FCS West. Beat App State. Lost to Boise. Beat Hawaii. Had to go to overtime against Florida International, which. Should give us a little bit of hope. But, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a good team. They're a strong team. Games aren't as close as ours, but it's, it's not impossible, man. It's not impossible. We can get our defense to play well. We play turnover-free football like we did for 99% of that game last week against Hawaii. And, yeah, we can beat a 5-1 and one Fresno State. But that is for another time. Thank you guys for watching the video. As always, if you're first time stopping by, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Smash the like button. If you enjoyed, helps out my videos in the old YouTube algorithm. Helps out the old NCAA community here on YouTube. Keep pushing these videos up in the old algorithm. And I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you back here tomorrow with some sort of video. Thanks and peace out.